That's farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Taste Bud Guys. Here's a thing. Hey guys, welcome back all you wonderful people out there. And those of you that are new and not so wonderful. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not wonderful, I guess, just because they're new. That was nice. Yeah. Maybe I associate Putting them down from the start. Yeah. I see how it is. Hey, yeah. Shame on you for not watching before. <laughs> That's what this boils down to. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us again. And uh, we're kind of doing something a little different, but not really. It's kind of the same thing. We're still just drinking. But <laughs> we are going with one of the uh, refrigerator beers. The old standards. Yeah. I'm Actually, I'm trying to remember when I've had this last yeah so we've got rolling rock extra was it extra light is that what it's called extra pale, extra pale yeah lager i don't remember the last time i had it i drank cases of this in college That's this cool. was such a good beer uh when i was in college because i didn't like the taste of beer <laughs> and this yeah, was I, quite nice and light as i remember it but i haven't had it in a good long bit so this was made uh from Old Latrobe, which was originally in a Pennsylvania brewing company, and then sold out to Anheuser Busch in like 2006. Uh, then it said it like they would put it up for sale. Did you pull that off with your hand? I did. So, <laughs> so they put it up for sale in like 2015 again. But here's the thing on the back of it. That I, and I want to read this before I took my cap off, mm -hmm. so I didn't spill it over the bar. <laughs> is it says from the glass line tanks of Old Latrobe. But then right on the the history of it, it says Anheuser-Busch as of 2015 or something, no longer use Jesus. the glass line tanks for their bottles, just for their cans. We will have to check that out. So see. that's kind of weird to be able to put that on the back of your deal. Yep. Then there's something about the number 33 and a whole bunch of other stuff. And it's an old brewer. The glass or the bottle? Uh, I want the bottle. Well, I'll take the glass. I'll no, take it's, it's fine. Go ahead. It's it's a bit off-putting to uh, see that in my glass, to be completely mm. fair. All right. I'm not even going Sm to smells like <laughs> Smells like every other... Lager? Lager I've ever had. <laughs> Anyways. Now, do you see why I drank this in college? I don't actually hate it. No, it's not bad at all, but it is. It doesn't for these light, classic beers. Uh, you don't have that big um, beer taste, right? It's it's kind of slow. It's a little sweet. It's pretty light. Um, It'd be good like chicken wings and stuff. Yeah, no, it's just a great drinking. It's beer. just a quick drinking beer. Yeah. So, like normal, we just need something for the refrigerator. We try to find something that can be cheap and not necessarily have a huge high alcohol and, and content and a lot you, of carbs and calories so if you know somebody who doesn't like beer and you can't get them to try craft beer hit them with one of these this is a fairly unoffensive beer in a good way hit them with it knock them out and then pour a good beer down the throat <laughs> you're gonna drink this stout <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i don't know i mean it's fine I, it's that it, there's Nothing surprising here. It's everything that I expected it to be over the years. I, I mean, I wish I could even think of the last time I had this, and I feel like it was. This is the wrong time of year for me. This is a like my beer. early twenties. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's a great yard beer. I I, I like it for what it is, and um, flavor wise, I mean, there's just hard. To, there's not a lot going on there. There's yeah, but it's that's very not clean. A bad thing. And I'm yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's not a bad thing. It is. It's just a real clean. Do you get beer. that sweetness on there though? Yeah, a little bit. It's like a. Um, here's what's missing to me is the, it, it, it starts to remind me of a Corona, and then it doesn't have that skunk to it. Yeah, yeah. That Corona typically has, which makes me think, oh, I gotta have a lime with it. But then after you go, you're like, oh, I guess I didn't need a lime with it. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty decent. Yeah, this is. is something I would probably would and should keep in the refrigerator mostly because it was just a little over ten dollars a 12 pack yeah but which is the absolute cheapest beer you can get at the store <laughs> i didn't actually want to get this one i wanted to get something else but i was 
Like, yeah. We've never done this on the show. Let's grab it. It's the cheapest thing we could find. Why not? So that's how we ended up with it. Mm. Also, I did find a neat bit of information that apparently because this little horse head's on there and uh, <laughs> Rolling Rock made them squat little bottles, that's where the, the pony bottle came from was... When they bottles. start making uh, long necks. I don't know. Hmm. I didn't say. I just thought it was interesting that they originated the pony bottle. That's where the etymology come from, at least. So, huh. All right. <laughs> the more you know. The more you know. Sorry, it's a short episode today, but we figured we was drinking. You might as well join us. Yeah, have a beer. Have a um, beer. Yeah, look us up on social media and uh, Patreon and all that Other stuff. stuff. Uh, anything else? Whatever you want to look us up on. Yeah, it's your choice. Yep, you do. <laughs> you tell us what we need to be on. All right, well, until next time. Whether it be the rolling rock you're drinking, the food you're eating, clothes you're wearing, or the people you're meeting, grab a buddy and try something new. <laughs>